From the Carly B. TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. A Bibb County inmate who escaped from Atrium Health Navison Hospital and later captured has died. According to Macon Bibb Corner Leon Jones, 20-year-old Hakeem Barrett died at 557 this morning. Barrett died from hyperthermia and diabetes. The parents of a teenager who is accused of killing four students at a Michigan school face a key hearing to determine if they will face trial. Attorneys for James and Jennifer Crumley have asked a judge to consider a postponement so they can further prepare. The Crumleys are charged with involuntary manslaughter. They're accused of making a gun accessible to Ethan Crumley and failing to intervene when he showed signs of mental distress. The governors of four states announced plans Monday to lift statewide mask requirements in schools by the end of February or March. The decisions in Connecticut, Delaware, New Jersey and Oregon were announced as state and local governments grapple with which virus restrictions to drop and which ones to keep in place. The changes also come amid a growing sense that the virus is never going away and Americans need to find a way to coexist with it. COVID-19 vaccine sales boosted Pfizer earnings well past expectations in the fourth quarter, but the drug maker is setting a lower than expected bar for 2022. Its stock started sliding in early trading. Overall, Pfizer forecasts adjusted earnings in the new year to range from $6.35 to $6.55 per share on $98 billion to $102 billion in revenue. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.